And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light Staying Human. We're going to go ahead and continue going through the map here. This is apparently glitched out. We went ahead in the last video and checked all the crates. They didn't have inhibitors in them apparently. And apparently this spot, the Genmod Development Center, is apparently glitched out. So, we're going to sleep off tonight. I'm going to go check the vendors real quick. Then we're going to come up to this war tower, check the vendors real quick, and then we're going to see what this location is. And what is this? Side rewards. And I'll probably go check out that quest. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure it's support button. Let's get into it. Just kind of grinding in my way out of here, trying to get ready for the second gameplay or game walkthrough of this game. I was hoping to save up enough this year to buy one. Or two. <coughs> As an investment? In a goat. I mean, goats are becoming a status This child is thy Sometimes I wake 
up at night and forget the fall even happened. Crazy as a spitter, or a scarecrow in glit. Wait, you're Silencio? Yeah. You familiar with my art? Well, not really, but I have seen Silencio posters around town. And you look, uh, well, you look younger than the pictures. Well, maybe it's my use of boulder tissue mask, or some other shit depends on who acts. If you is a crime, it's because I laid them fresh rhymes. Fresher than Frank and his team in the shitty canteen. I have no way of picking up what you're laying down. The virus must have really cramped your style. Cramped, but not necrotic. I'm better than ever. Now, how's that? Just listen, man. Throw me a word, and I'll freestyle for you. How about, uh, ooh, the peacekeepers? Ah, tough one. They got no style, they got no rhythm. And all they want is for us to join with them. Acting peaceful when for fights they're keen. Just like the Lushes in Frankie's canteen. Dope, right? Only another one army. Goat. Goat? Are you fucking serious? That's whack. <sighs> okay, um, volatile. Fast and furious, I can see that you're curious. 
Who scared of the most? Acts like he's seen a ghost. Wanna scare Frank? Play a volatile prank. Yeah, of all my rhymes, that was not the most fine. Hit me with another word. Well, I'm sensing that you're not a big fan of Frank. Really? Why'd you say that? Just an easy rhyme to make, man. Not really. You came up with some excruciating rhymes just to diss Frank. Excruciating? You disrespecting me? The one and only Silencio? You're not Silencio. <laughs> with rhymes like those, it's clear you just pose. My guess is you're just some wannabe that Frank won't let perform at the canteen. Yeah, but only because I'm underage. Not because I suck. Grow up then, and stop pretending you're someone you're not. And I'm sure Frank would be more friendly if you cut down on insulting him. I'll... think about it. Meantime, check this out. A ticket to my last gig, fool. Told you I was the one and only Silencio. Ha! Sometimes I wake up at night and forget the fall even happened. That's about the only time I smile. But then I see... Chances against the right guys are pretty good. Now. Let's get you fixed up, okay? Quartermaster anywhere? Not much traffic today. Nobody's in the back. Are you sure that's not the real thing? Who said that? Who said that? I'll teach you to do this. I thought we were playing about the dance, and it was quite through the assignment of quarters. And can you imagine? I got blue in the area. You. I'm Albert, and from what I hear, you're Aiden. You have quite the reputation, my boy, for being fearless, for boldly crisscrossing the city at night, as if it were broad daylight. <laughs> you believe all that? At first, I didn't believe, because a pilgrim's always a guy with some kind of dark past, a bandit, a rebel, an outcast. But from what they say about you... I'm sure whatever you've heard is in... Exaggeration. Nonsense, my boy. I have something you probably don't come across all that much. Faith. Faith in you. I'd be careful with that. It's no time to be careful, my boy. I believe that your strength, determination, and courage are just what you need to retrieve priceless treasures before they are lost forever. Before mankind is plunged irrevocably into the intellectual and philosophical dark ages. So, your books, then? This isn't about dime store paperbacks, boy. I'm talking about the greatest works of literature 
ever created through the eons of human existence. The greatest thought pieces, philosophical treatises, works of romance, drama, and horror. All of which serve to illuminate and uplift humanity itself. Losing such a heritage would reduce us to cavemen, with no better way to express ourselves than through savage grunts as we scratch crude figures on walls. <laughs> sure. How can I help? Work with me, please, to find and secure these treasures. I've been researching the local private book collections. If I'm right, many priceless volumes may be found all around the city. Of course, many of the dwellings are now infested by these horrible creatures of the night. That's where you come in. Here, take this list. Each title on it corresponds to one of the many facets of humanity. Fail to save them, and the diamond of mankind will dull and shatter like cheap glass. Remember, we are not simply creatures of flesh and blood, but also of mind and ideas. I am charging you with the salvation of the very spirit of man. Right. I'm off then. Chances to get some rank guys were pretty good. But now I'm not sure. Yeah! <laughs> 
for the Black Monday bombings and the death of make them like
Welcome to the PK Cat.
Here are your books. Not my books, dear boy. Our books. Humanity's books. The world is collectively sighing right now due to your efforts, and it doesn't even know why. This tale, your tale, will be the next great epic, and it's only begun. Ah, the Bible. I mean, well, that's like the book, right? Few books have shaped the world as profoundly as the Bible. Hmm, Hans Christian Andersen and his fairy tales. Powerful stories of virtue and resilience. Children's tales, yes, but containing wisdom for all. You have just rescued the collective unconscious of the Western world. Thanks to you, the fire in the belly of humanity burns brighter today. Let's stoke it more, shall we? Thalia there is my associate. She helps me track the collections around the city. She will point you to the next locations as I catalog the books you bring me. Hi, Aiden. I'm Thalia. So, you're the pilgrim Albert told me is helping us rebuild humanity's library. I am. Albert's a wonderful man. I only hope others will appreciate what he's trying to do. We're not in the middle of the Renaissance, you know. Few people read. What about you? What about me? Do you read? Uh, when I can. Not often. Then tell me what you think. Between the Bible and Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales, which would you consider a better guide to human behavior? Um, the Bible, I guess. I mean, isn't it the word of God? Hmm. Wouldn't you have to believe in God for that to be true? And a particular version of God at that. I must speak to Albert now. Perhaps we'll talk again. Speaking of which, here are the locations of more books. Well, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you support button. Next time we come back, I think we're going to check out more question marks. And then we'll go back to doing the side quest. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit the support button. I'll see you guys again soon.